In our previous video, we talked about the pros and cons of living in Prince William County. Today, we're going to talk about what does it cost to live in this area? Of six areas that we consider to be Northern Virginia, which is Alexandria City, Arlington County, Fairfax County, Loudoun County, Prince William County, and Stafford County. Prince William County has the second most transactions out of all of them. Prince William County has the sixth lowest average sales price for single family homes in all of Northern Virginia. The average sales price in Alexandria City is 1.2 million, Arlington is 1.3 million, Fairfax is a million even, Loudoun County is $960,000, Prince William County is $660,000, and Stafford is $550,000. Now that you know how much you'll pay for a single family home in Prince William County, the real estate taxes are $1.03 per $100. So if you were buying a property that was $400,000, you're looking at paying about $4,120 for real estate taxes. You should also know that most of the properties in Prince William County are located in an HOA. HOAs cost anywhere from $50 to $150 per month, and the cost is going to be relative to what amenities are offered. So if you're looking for a place that has swimming pools, tennis courts, volleyball courts, walking trails, stuff like that, then you're going to be on the higher end of that spectrum. Before we go any further, my name is Abraham Walker with Ask A Walker, you know the Virginia real estate agent, and this is our real estate channel, Where to Live in Northern Virginia, where we do a lot of research-based content like the stuff you're seeing today. If you're ready to start your real estate journey, there is a link in the description to the perfect home questionnaire fill out that form and we will schedule a time to meet online via zoom to answer any and all of your questions about real estate let's talk about how much money people make in Prince William County. While Prince William County is deemed to be more affordable than the rest of Northern Virginia, the average income, household income, is still going to be at $145,000. Now, the Economic Policy Institute says that a family of four living in Prince William County needs about $111,000 to maintain their lifestyle. On that same note, people who are under the age of 45 are making about $109,000 for their household, and then you get into the higher income brackets at as you age. The next cost on our list is going to be transportation costs. It was one of our cons and our pros and cons of living in Prince William County. The link is going to be up here somewhere. Check it out. Everyone in Prince William County is going to be using a vehicle, okay? You can't get around it. Now, because you're going to have a vehicle, I don't know what your preference is going to be, what type of vehicle, how much monthly payment you feel comfortable with, but you should know that when you live in Prince William County, you will have to pay a personal property tax. At this time, that tax rate is $3.70 per $100. So you're looking at about $925 for a $25,000 car. Let's say you don't want to buy a car or you don't want to own a car and you just want to use public transportation to get around. Some people do it. It's a little bit challenging in Prince William County. But there is a VRE. There's no Metro, but there is a VRE. There's two zones for the VRE that are gonna have pickups in the Prince William County area off of 95. And then there's another zone off of the Manassas or the 66 side of Prince William County. Round trip costs for either one of those areas is going to be anywhere from 825 to $10. Just depend on how far you are away from your desired destination. The last way you can kind of offset some of your commuting cost is through slugging. Slugging is this technique that's really unique to this area where you essentially get into a stranger's car who's going to drop you off at some predefined destination and then you'll use that same location to jump in another stranger's car and they'll bring you back to your desired location. I know it sounds super sketchy but it works and it is a very popular means of commuting. So one of the reasons why the person who's driving wants these strangers in their car is to meet the minimum required requirements for the high occupancy vehicle lane, which is called HOV or HOV. That's what the locals call it. Sometimes trips on the HOV lane can cost $40. So now you see the benefit of having strangers ride in your car. The next cost on our list is going to be childcare costs. You can expect to pay anywhere from $250 to $500 per week per child when they are under school age. When we moved up here 10 years ago, childcare costs in Northern Virginia was twice as much as it was in New Orleans. That's probably why you don't see that many people with a lot of children here. Some people estimate that 14% of your income in Prince William County goes to childcare related expenses. If you have school age kids and you need either before or after school care, you can expect to spend another $500 per month 
month on that service as well per child. Okay, so let's talk about food costs. How much does it cost to eat in Prince William County? A family of four should budget about $10,000 per year in food costs, so anywhere from $800 to $1,200 per month. That's including going out to restaurants, not all the time, but sometimes, sometimes every month. When my family, when we are trying to save money, we can get our food costs down to about $600. That is with us cooking every day, which can be stressful. So if you're going to go out a lot, just know that you need to pad those numbers a little bit. Trying to control your food costs in Prince William County is going to be a little bit challenging because there's coffee shops, restaurants, and a lot of places to eat all throughout the county. Now we come to our last cost, which is going to be healthcare. In Prince William County, healthcare cost is going to be about 4% more than the national average. It's not really large enough or a significant enough change to really make any remarks about it, but just know it's going to be slightly more than maybe just your middle of the road average American town. While while you can expect to spend a little bit more money on healthcare costs here, you will appreciate the fact that you're going to have access to a lot of medical facilities all throughout the county. And then you can also come into Fairfax County or even Arlington and places like that to access a wider net of medical facilities. Okay, okay. So now that you know about the pros and cons of living in Prince William County and you have an idea of how much it costs to live here, let's talk about the five best places to live in the next video in this series. Be sure to check out on our channel, the playlist for Prince William County as well. I will see you in the next video. Peace.